Guys, I'm gonna leave. You guys are doing too well. It's the saddest one. Wow. I just... When you watch all that back to back, then you realize... Wow, <laughs> yes, exactly. Hey guys, welcome back to Mike Up Podcast. I'm Elton and... I'm Del. So, the other, we have another three members but social distancing, we don't get COVID. So they're doing it at their own, at their own homes. So, if you're the first time here, what is Mike Up? So Mike Up is a podcast where we inspire the youth through stories, alright? So do check us out, drop a subscribe. And today we're doing something different. So in collaboration with Monster, we're going to be reviewing the top 50 young talents and picking the most inspiring young talent and yeah, which most inspires us. Yeah. Um, so how we're going to go about this, there's five of us. Each of us is going to pick our top five. And we're going to be reverse scoring it. First place gets five points, four points, three, two, one. And the one with the top points, Scars. top score, <laughs> will be our pick for the most inspiring young talent. So without further ado, let's get into the review. A young talent, someone who inspires and aspires to instigate change around his community. As we move towards a more progressive Malaysia, what are you doing about it? During the MCO period, I realized the visually impact community was high. It's not my favorite. So I used my box to raise and awareness. Like first few. And it's an yeah. initiative called the iPhone. Alongside with my good friend, Teresa Chong, mm. we ah, got yes, almost 6,000 right. people this guy. all through social media. As we move towards this post COVID world, it is time that we share with one another. I think it's very nice how he uses a platform that we all have, we're all using now, like it social media. You know, uh, it's actually quite inspirational, in fact, as well, uh, especially for students, uh, especially for a student who's able to, you know, raise 6,000 major ringgit uh, and help 2,000 families. So, inspirational wise, I would, uh, yeah, I would definitely give that a yes. Wow, he's really doing a lot for the blind community. Mm. He will get my boat. <laughs> he's somewhere in my top five. <laughs> so far, he's number one. We gotta see the others. Oh, this dude. I yeah. Didn't really... <laughs> Actually, I really like him from the beginning too. He's so, like, he, he leaves an impression. Like, yeah, he really... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, this guy. And for him, it's not because he's different from us, but because there's just something about him that really, yeah, yeah, yeah. the aura that he gives off is just really, very inspiring. Yeah, I mean, I myself uh, would be very appreciative with my current situation, uh, with what I have, all I have now, and yeah. Jia Yao is definitely one inspiring one, and he should continue to do whatever what he does. Oh, I really like his painting. Hmm. I've got to decide between 8 and 2 and some more wishes. <laughs> Just give everyone a prize, man. <laughs> Alright. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all. My name is Nazro Ifadi Ben Nasra Anwar. You can call me Nasro. I'm a third year accounting student in University of Malaysia. Currently, I'm the owner of Malaya Media Industry and I'm the founder of the brand with the cinema of the UBM. So this video is to show you guys why I am here. It is simply because I inspire people around me in my own way. Having a store of my own in UPM, I have helped a lot of students gaining their own side income and gain working experience wow. while studying. I have been very active since my foundation year, especially in the entrepreneurship field. And I'm looking forward for more opportunity in the long run. Setting a business at a young age doesn't mean that you are successful, but it gives you more time to improve and prove that you are not afraid to take risks. I rather do and feel doing something that I'm passionate about than having regret for not taking the risk and taking the opportunity that I have today. I'm Nazri Faradi bin Asra Anwar. See you next time. <laughs> That's a tough choice, man. <laughs> I gotta differentiate them into like two tiers. One yeah. is like very very good, and one is also very good, but not that good. But whoa! <laughs> anyway, I I'm not even in your tier, man. I'm just. <laughs> That's why they made it to the top fifty. Respect you all, man. Yeah, man. I 
completely everyone is a young talent. Being one of them, I possess the core of young talent with holistic concept. I'm going to buy my face, I'm going to come here. Are they married in Malaysia? Well, she's ready to use. Like, she's the one who can speak Chinese. Oh yeah, she speaks three languages. Right, I remember making a comment about her uh, being in like parliament, youth parliament and everything. It was uh, very inspiring to see, and it's not just it's not just her participation in the uh, the youth parliament. It's like her talent and everything else. She's participated in other events, and uh, I can see that she's a pretty exceptional uh, individual. So I think I think she's also another one of my top candidates here from the last last viewing. Oh yeah, she can sing. Oh my god. Yeah, so, so her, her mot whole motto of um, being more holistic and um, yeah, just, just um, balance in general. I think that was a very good reason for me to select her as one of my top 5. So she's there as well. Um, no ranking just yet, but let's see. This, this is the... Oh my gosh. Everyone has their own potential and talent. Ah, right, the director. Okay. From from the start, like just just talking uh, as I talk to you guys while while the video plays and everything, so I really enjoyed how her message was, um, you know, that she can make a difference by her just being a director, and she can inspire young young people to be more um, creative or believe in themselves more in the uh, more of the creative arts and everything. And it's not something you see a lot every day. So I found this piece, or at least this person, to be uh, really inspiring to my categories at least. So. She inspires youth to be more ch uh, to challenge themselves, especially in the creative industry, which is not common in Malaysia, a as we actually know about it. So yeah, uh, participant thirty-seven. Uh, she's yeah, she's definitely. I think one of my topics as well for top five. This is thirty-seven. You guys, I'm gonna leave. You guys are doing too well. This is the I just When you watch all that back to back, then you realize Wow, <laughs> yes, exactly. And I have eight in my top tier. Eight I have nine. <laughs> How am I gonna pick number one? We just gotta do it. <laughs> I'm Hakazakaria. I'm a dental student and also a member of Youth Parliament of Malaysia. It's when I was a Peran Fellow for former Minister of Health, Dr. Sri Dr. Zulkifli Ahmad. I am on what? Can I join the Parliament if I can't really speak Malay? Every day. Uh, when I was elected, I mean, we're in Malaysia, so. Okay. You know. Platform. Aku suka macam mana you buat I many seminar and conference to Lit. my paper Hangat tau Hangat is three research papers and two articles oh. in the industry It's fortunate to be a leader in various volunteer programs and formal events I also got a chance to present policy paper in Istanbul He's presenting Asia. policy paper, I can't finish yeah. my assignments With a strong will and desire, you will achieve yes. everything I'm first place for me and Dell is 36. For Ryan and Shun, first place is number 8. For Peling, first place is number 2. Alright? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, 8 also featured on my, my list. My number 3 is number 8. Um, Peling's number 5 is number 8. Fifth place on mine is number 2. <coughs> Dell's second place is number 2. Ryan's second place is number two, and Peling's number one is number two. Oh my god. So we have a three-way tie. 36, eight, two, 36. and thirty-six. There's a three-way tie between eight, two, and thirty-six. Really? Um, thirty-six? Yeah. A few moments later. So thirteen plus another eight is... Eight points. Twenty-one. Fuck, we have another tie! Because... One five point two, vote for me. Two people choose eight, two people choose two. Mm. So 36 definitely are already. So now it's between eight and two. Okay, we have top two. I mean, top, top two for, I mean, for first place. Let's just put it in. 36 is our third place. <laughs> okay, but no, since now that 
There's really two pigs on number eight, two pigs on number two. You are the odd one, so. So I have to make the decision. Yes. Gun. <laughs> Because oh. we have we, we have our, our picks ready number two got two people number eight got two people he's your all one now. Um, oh so it, it really came down to Elton <laughs> we have to convince Elton. We just scrap this whole video and just like me just hmm I will do an individual review. I'm just gonna pick my. Own. This is democracy, Elton. That's how it works. Oh. You are the last vote. It has come down to this number two definitely brings a lot, but I feel like for me. My number one pick would be number eight. Hey, let's go! Number eight! Okay, okay. <laughs> it's super hard to pick, but. <laughs> I have to go with number eight. I, I mean, he has been my underdog since the start. I, I always liked his, his. From the first video I saw, I always liked him. And. Yeah, I, I guess it just comes down to gut feel. I follow my gut. I like number eight. I'm going with number eight. Wong Jia Yao, you are Mike Dub's choice for most inspiring young talent. Congratulations, hey, hey, hey. Um, we love you so much. It was a very, very tough choice. It's a very, very tough very, choice. Very, very tough choice. We, we had three draws, mm -hmm. like three draws for first place. And then when it came to two, we had another draw and... Wow, these people are talented, man. Super talented. Um, do you guys want to add anything before we close up? Nah, just 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 gonna say that it was a uh, very uh, it's a fun experience watching all of these fifty people like display and showcase their talents to us. So, yeah, and uh, thanks to Monster for providing the opportunity for us to judge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think this is a good opportunity to see uh, what other young people are doing uh, yeah. in the community yeah. as well. Uh, and yeah, shout out to Monster giving everyone a voice or a chance to be out there, do something. And yeah, I think this this will really help grow the youth a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I think this Monster Award doesn't only like award them for doing something. I think it it actually also gather all these young talented people together in one platform. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. I just wanna add one thing, you all are super young, I've been seeing through um the candidates and there's a lot of 18, 19 yeah, year yeah. olds. I, but then we're not that old. <laughs> but what were you doing at 18? When, if you come to think about it, what were we doing at 18? In and, college. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> so really kudos to y'all. Y'all are super inspiring. Uh, we'd like to have some of y'all on our podcast uh, where we try to connect with you. Definitely. Uh, till then, see you guys next time. And thank you to Monster again for having this, giving us this opportunity. And I'll yes. see you guys yes. in the next podcast. Bye. Bye-bye.